Summer slowdown, oversaturation. If you are a DoorDash driver or really any gig app driver, you want to watch part two of what I think we should be doing and how to prepare ourselves for a slowdown. Mr. Bet on you, Pedro, DoorDash and Tego, back at you with the rideshare guy. Now that's the beautiful arch you just saw. I do DoorDash, Uber, and some Instacart in St. Louis, Missouri. Typically a very good market, pretty busy market, but I've noticed some changes and I want to talk to you guys in this part two of a couple couple videos of oversaturation, slowdown, and what you can do to kind of be prepared because it's, it's coming for many of you drivers. So if you've noticed in the last few weeks, if your market seems to be getting a little bit slower, it is seasonal, so in many markets it's getting nicer outside, and many markets DoorDash has added a lot of drivers, so you might be, your pocketbook might be hurting a little bit. So I'm gonna give you guys a few things to, to do proactively before it really gets slow for some of you guys. Now the easy things, and we've all heard it and talked about it, yeah, get multiple apps, blah, 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 try Uber, try Instacart, that's the, that's the easy stuff, okay? We all kind of know that. You wanna have multiple options to cast a wider net. But let's dig a little deeper. When and if you start seeing the oversaturation, the slowdown, you turn an app on, it's like, man, this thing hasn't gone on for 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Or if you're seeing, man, I'm seeing a lot of bad orders at peak lunchtime, peak dinner time, it can start to get a little frustrating, a little worrisome. The first thing you can do to impact yourself in a positive way is remind yourself of this a dollar is a dollar so if your market is getting slower for whatever reason the first thing you can do is personally control the money that you're spending while you're either out doing gig work whether it's you're buying sodas and energy drinks and you're doing this and maybe you're driving too much you're putting more fuel in your car you're overspending taking away the money while you're doing gig work a dollar is a dollar so watching your spending habits during the seasonal slowness, oversaturation, will help you keep some of the money that you have. So packing a lunch, bringing snacks, bringing something from home will save you money. The second option I'm gonna have for some of you might seem a little crazy, but follow me. When we turn on that DoorDash app, we see red, we see very busy sometimes, we see peak pay, and those things can be good, but sometimes when you see very busy or you see peak pay, a lot of drivers go to that zone. Maybe even if they're a zone or two away, they'll drive there, especially new ones. Ooh, because I wanna, I wanna get that peak pay. Well, I see it's very busy, I'm gonna make more money, right? So that can really even double the oversaturation issue you have. Now, if you're somebody that see, if you can dash now, for whatever reason, on the DoorDash app, whether you're a top dasher or you've done enough shopping pay orders, maybe try a different zone. If you could dash in a zone that's gray, you might be able to make money over there if there's less DoorDash drivers because the red and the busy and all that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna make money and it's busy. That's just DoorDash trying to filter you in a zone that might be busy and it doesn't mean that the orders are good. Try a different zone. Try to dash somewhere where maybe it doesn't appear to be busy. Maybe the area's different, but you might have better opportunities in that area. Try a different zone. And when it's slow, we have to remind ourselves, we have to be willing to adapt. If you usually go out for four or five hours and you hit your goal, you might need to stay out an extra 30 minutes, an extra hour, maybe an hour and a half. Maybe you start early, maybe you extend your dash. You might have to adapt in that way to reach that monetary goal and ride it out. Be patient with that. If your goal is a hundred bucks and you usually do it in four hours, four and a half hours, whatever time it takes you in your market, you might need to stay out a little bit longer. You might need to drive an extra 5, 10, 15 miles on in your car to get to that $100 goal or whatever it is. Be willing to do that and adapt. As long as you're still profitable, you might need to change those strategies, change the times and the zones in which you dash so you can still hit the monetary goal. And the last thing you can do to really help yourself, if you're not doing it already, schedule ahead of time. With the oversaturation and the coupled with some of the slowness, you wanna be on that schedule. And you can change and edit your schedule, but schedule yourself that four or five hours. Schedule yourself for 12 hours if you need to. Give yourself the option to be able to dash when you are ready. And if you schedule, you might stop somebody else from being able to come in and just being able to dash now because the algorithm will see that there's enough drivers. Protect yourself, protect your earnings, give yourself the opportunity even when it's slow, 
even if there's oversaturation, but be patient, but be adaptable as well. So I wanna hear from you guys, drop a comment. How was your market? Have you seen some changes in the last couple of weeks? What are you thinking is gonna happen? Cause some markets you say, I've heard get a little bit busier during this summertime and the seasonal time. And maybe some markets aren't oversaturated. Maybe they're undersaturated. Let us know in the comments below what you have seen, any changes, what you're expecting. And we'll be in the comments reading those and giving a little bit of feedback to you guys. And if you wanna sign up for any of the courses the Rideshare Guys has, check the description for the links for those. If you wanna sign up and be a DoorDash driver or try different apps, check that out as well. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. We weekly DoorDash content with Mr. Bet on you on the Rideshare Guy. And if you want more DoorDash content, check out this next video here. And I'll see you guys next week. And also let us know in the comments, what kind of videos would you like to see about DoorDash? What questions do you guys have? And possibly we'll do a video on a topic that you guys have interest in. See you later.